Hey guys, I know it's uh, been a while since I've done a video and uh, especially on cars, I've been doing a few terrains. So uh, I went out and bought some stuff and uh, I just wanted to make a quick video and show you guys what I got and uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, you'll spot something that uh, you're looking for or maybe something that's going to inspire you to go out and, and buy it. And uh, most of these I got at Walmart except for these three. These are from uh, a pharmacy in uh, in Quebec and um, basically in Canada. So I don't know if uh, a lot of you are in the U.S. You might not uh, see these, but they're not they're not the best. So if you do see them, don't don't buy them. Like the tank here, it's got a little flimsy thing here, and um, yeah, this uh, I don't know. It's like a needs need, that cannon needs some kind of like pill or something. But uh, the wheels aren't great and it says metal on the box and you probably get like only one piece of the car that's metal and the rest uh, is uh, really cheap. Uh, I mean, I bought these cheap, but they weren't as cheap as Hot Wheels, so not really worth it. Except maybe this one. This one's pretty cool looking. It's got a cool little bumper ram here. It's got rivets on the body. Uh, the tires aren't great because, you know, they have the ridges, but only on the outside. Um, not not amazing as a model, but uh, still looks uh, gas lines-y once, uh, once it's painted. And then uh, I found this helicopter here. And uh, it's probably going to be my first uh, gyrocopter. Probably going to have to do that in... Uh, upcoming videos so if you're interested in doing a gyrocopter if you find one of these little helicopters it might help or you know just take off some wheels off a car that looks like it's made to fly and uh, next up i found these uh, maisto design cars these are really cool if you could find them at not expensive um, this one's a 1965 uh, pontiac gto um, i had previously bought a red one like this and then i saw this gray one and uh, I had to get it. It wasn't expensive. And uh, I want to show you why I like these ones. Um, first off, they come with this really cool uh, plastic. Look how cool this plastic is. I use these to make terrain. And um, if you're interested on, on how I make terrain with these, you could go check out my other video. I did some pretty easy to make tarp terrain uh, for like an industrial looking table. So go check out that video um, but yeah back to the car I really like these because they have these rubber tires that are kind of realistic and uh, the hood opens up here with an engine inside so uh, I mean you get some pretty good details on these uh, Maisto design cars and they're not as expensive as you would think uh, sometimes the door no these the doors don't open you might find some that uh, have opening doors and I I like the matte finish on these. They're, they're really cool looking cars. Next up, um, I got this Matchbox set of five. And uh, these these are all great for gas lines. They maybe not the pickup truck so much, but this is the MBX Wild 2 if you're looking for it. And uh, I'm going to open it up and show you each one individually start off with this uh, pickup truck i like the back here it has like some kind of metal grid once it's primed and uh, painted metal that's gonna look good and i really like the lights in the front these uh these these bulging lights here those are really fun to paint and you can get creative make it look like they're actually like turned on and with a blue fade um, i don't know next time i do that car i'll show you guys this truck here is really cool because it's got all these things on the roof here you know you got like a shovel uh rope some gas canisters here and there's just a bunch of really cool details check it out the front has a motorcycle so yeah that's pretty cool and uh, the the front of the truck looks like my my outriders truck i like that shape it's really cool and um yeah the tires are nice you know the the rugged rigid off-road tires and you got all these windows here that you could have guns sticking out of. It's kind of like a mini mini war rig kind of thing going on here. So I'm really happy with that truck there. Next up, we got the buggy. Um, I think Gaslands has rules for buggies. So uh, this could be a good one. It's got the, the wench in the back. 
wench or winch i think it's a wench it's got a wench in the front too i, I feel like wench is the wrong word it has to be winch wench is bad isn't it like i don't know well it's got those um next i got this uh this this thing reminds me for some reason of the the uh monster truck there what's his name grave digger right i think that's just the shape of it it's got a little gas canister it's got these really cool uh rivets on the hood here i like little details like that um you know you got the hinges on the doors here in the back those are gonna look really cool when they're painted and rusted uh the tires need to change next up we got this mercedes six-wheeler it's really gas landy looking it's got this uh spare tire in the back here which is i think bigger than the actual tires uh but yeah it's uh, basically the mercedes truck slash pickup and with some added wheels it's uh it looks really cool on the table as is can't wait to get those guns on there and um yeah the plastic guys this is uh okay enough of the enough about plastic next we got some hot wheels let's see first up these two actually i wanted to race um on my on my gaslands racing track but they're too thick and uh, they wouldn't fit which uh, sucks i wanted to do like a hot wheel versus matchbox i did some of those for like a uh porsche i did uh, mustangs i did jaguars so if you want to go see some hot wheels versus mac matchbox uh, races go check it out they're they're really fun to watch and um yeah i wanted to do that with these two big trucks but i couldn't the scale is just it's too big it's too wide it wouldn't fit uh so i'm gonna just open them up this is the dodge power wagon from the uh, baja blazers set and uh i mean this thing is it's pretty uh pretty badass looking because it's it's lifted it's big it's uh it's thick and uh i mean when that's racing or fighting next to a car uh, you you see the difference so these two would have been really cool to go head head to head uh maybe i'll make a team you know just some bootleggers or something i like the back of the truck here the lights aren't aren't great but um uh, the, the the piping in the back it looks pretty good and uh yeah so if you guys are planning on sending in cars to gaslands tv to race don't send in these these big thick things they just won't fit on the track and uh, next up i'm going to start showing off some hot wheels that uh, some of the you've probably already seen especially on the groups and stuff but uh, this is a tankinator uh, from the Xperi motors uh, it's number one of ten and uh, it looks it looks just made for gas lines right perfect tank uh it's got a little thing here maybe for your finger drive around with so immature oh my god oh my god hold on i got this yeah don't stick your finger in there kids um it's cool it's got a turret that turns here and uh really uh really enjoy this uh hatch in the front here and then these hatches on, on the bumper in the front tires look uh, pretty good and uh yeah i don't know what that's hold that holds there for some kind of on the picture there was a driver i don't know is there a driver that you could buy off hot wheels i've never seen the driver alone i've seen all these cars that you could put the driver in but i haven't i haven't seen the actual driver anywhere uh, let me know if you guys know where i could get him It'd be cool to have there next up we got this uh beast of a car looking thing i like the front of it it's the hot wheeler hot hot wheeler hot wheeler street beast number one of five let's open it up and see uh how it looks i like the chain on the top there that looks pretty good too once it's painted it's gonna look good but this thing moves look at this oh <laughs> look it opens up like a dog's mouth and there's actually a bone in there that's that's pretty cool that that's why this is why you watch these videos right to see what these hot wheels actually do sometimes uh, you got some collectors out there that never opened these and 
they would probably miss out on these cool things that these these cars do uh yeah but i, I really like the chain on the top here i think this is gonna look like a really cool badass uh gas lens car for sure maybe like a ghost style or something next up we got this cool looking buggy that's been looks like it's been stepped on by a giant the blade raider and this is from the hot wheels daredevils this this is a car that probably does well on the track maybe it's been tested on tracks and it does well on like loops and stuff like that so maybe that's why it's a daredevil series i don't know uh but yeah look look at the I just like the way it sits right it's just super flat and wide and i don't i don't think it it uh it would fit on the track though this, this is pretty wide it's got a wing in the back that's cool it's really aerodynamic for a track but i'm not sure if it fits i'm gonna have to go test that out on the track and and if it does work um, maybe i'll make it the uh, the gaslands tv car that's gonna race on the track against uh, all you guys that have sent in your cars you know, I want to enter too. Am I not allowed? Next up, we got this thing. Obviously, uh, most of you who follow Gaslands know about this guy. The Erikenstein. Erikenstein? I think that's what it is. The Erikenstein Rod. Yeah, so this is the uh, Hot Trucks collection. Uh, I bought the blue one. And I liked it. So I bought the red one. So this is the yeah, red one. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's got different lights in the front, and uh, it's got a nice body, uh, body wing, and engine sticking out there. It's got the like, I don't know if you can see it, but inside there you got more engines and parts and stuff, and it just looks like a really nice build. And uh, if you paint that up on uh, for Gasland style, it's gonna look really nice. And uh, the back is perfect to like put a cannon on or something there. It looks like it was made to uh, add guns to it so yeah this is uh, something you want to look for if you want to grow your collection next up we got this thing is awesome uh, this is the lethal diesel and it's track stars so i could probably use this on the track race against you guys with my gaslands tv sponsored car and Maybe this might be it because it's got a track here on the picture. It's called Track Stars. It's probably really quick on the track. But maybe this is going to be the car to beat. Whoa! This thing just rolled out of my hand. Like, I don't know what it is, but it rolls really well. Definitely a Track Star. Uh, it's cool. It's got these like wires here for the engine. Little details here. Um, got the vents in the back. And some gasoline canisters there. I know there's a name for them. I forget. Jerry Jugs. Uh, I, I think Jerry is in there. I don't know. It's got pipes underneath. Um, what's the name, guys, of those canisters? Jerry something, right? I don't know. I like those lights in the front. They look like they, they have like a, a mean look to them. And this thing rolls really well. These These two cars roll pretty well yeah i think i'm gonna these are probably gonna be my gaslands cars that that are gonna have to race in the gaslands racing because uh you know gotta be fun for me too i gotta i gotta enter some of my cars in there obviously i won't win any prizes but anyways moving on this is uh, the last car we got here the speed dozer and um it is from hot wheels metro collection it's got an insane ram which is already perfect for gas lines let's open it up here and take a look closer yeah this looks uh, pretty cool it's, uh, it's a bit cartoony for my taste but I couldn't pass up on that ram it's got like I don't know 75 million pipes there the ram in the front and uh, it's got the parachute in the back there for a drag I don't know how fast this thing would actually go with all this metal on it. It's uh, it's actually a pretty heavy, uh, it's a heavy model. So maybe on the track it would do good, you know, off the suicide. 
Uh, actually, no, because the uh, the RAM here would hit the bottom and would slow it down a lot. So yeah, for the suicide, the RAM is not a good idea. But I like the wheels, uh, really cool model. And uh, that's it, guys. Those that's my haul. Uh, for the upcoming videos, I'd like to know which ones uh, you would like me to do. Uh, I'm probably gonna do those two those two racers for the uh, for the track, so I could race against you guys and the cars that you're sending in. Uh, but if there's anything in particular from uh, from these cars that you'd like me to do, uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, let me know also if you enjoy these videos, if if they're useful to you, or if uh, I mean, if you learn anything from them or if they inspire you to say, oh, you know what, I think I'm going to go get that one or I'm going to go check out what my local Walmart has or Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. Um, I don't know. I like to see other people's hauls, so uh, I like to also post them. Hopefully you like me and you like to see these. If you do, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell because I'll be uh, doing a... A lot of videos coming up soon and uh, if you're looking for stuff for Gaslands uh, we sell dice on our Etsy page we got gates some templates we even have like little uh, cool bits of uh, 3d printed stuff that you could modify your cars with and uh, we, they come in this uh, container here they are filled with stuff and uh, you can also get a container of, of flamethrowers and stuff like that also, go check out our Facebook page because we have a contest every month and you could win a container full of guns. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, a like and a subscribe really helps out the channel. And um, next time, I think we're going to be working on doing some fades using spray paint.